makes everyone better. It is good for society and the culture of its people. Citizens should be able to have access to art all of the time. It is not just a bunch of boring sculptures and paintings. It is music, paintings, drawings, photography, dance, theater, design, mixed media, sculptures, architecture, calligraphy, weaving, and many more. More than that, it is life. As it tends to reflect all of the emotions that one person is feeling, it allows another to feel and receive a message that the art is trying to tell. Fine art is everywhere and influences and affects the lives of people every day all around the world. I personally love art because I can do anything I want to it and can make anything I wish to make. It allows me to exercise my mind and to express my creativity, imagination, and express who I am. Hopefully there will always be art to inspire new ideas and creativity in the world. It can show us the different views other people have and even influence us by what we take in and receive from their artwork. Without the freedom to express ourselves, the world would be a lot less exciting and possibly full of more emptiness and despair with fewer creative outlets. Art can be liberating as it can be interpreted in many different ways. Margaret Wolf Hungerford, a novelist in the late 19th century, famously says that, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Beauty cannot be judged objectively, for what one person finds beautiful or admirable may not appeal to another. Art takes many forms, from writing a speech to an actual physical piece. It could be a picture of a sunset or a fourth grade art project, even music. No matter the medium, it offers people a kind of freedom. The emotions that are displayed through music and artworks are often equally as abstract as anything else. A very famous painting could make certain people feel content and ecstatic, but another person might look at this painting and see it from a different perspective and feel more bleak rather than joy. The point is, art offers receivers the freedom to feel either way. How we view art and how we feel about it changes within each generation. Something perceived as offensive now may not seem offensive in the next 10 to 15 years and vice versa. Sometime later on in the future, it may be perceived thus. Our perspectives on how we see and feel about the things that surround us change over time. Regardless, creativity and imagination are things that we all have, and some just express it more than others, producing art. Art makes life better. People are inspired. They see beauty in it and go, aw, I want to do that. The highest level of need to achieve our greatest potential and help us to be all that we can be. A good case in point is how art is important in a child's development. When kids use Play-Doh, for example, they are fine-tuning their muscle control in their fingers, making small adjustments so that they can achieve the best or the kind of performance that they wish to have. Artwork is also helpful in communicating people's ideas politically, spiritually, or philosophically. It is very important for society because it is able to communicate through all the different languages and cultures that exist in the world. It speaks something that even words cannot. Art is a feeling. If someone does not like art, that does not mean it is bad or useless. We all enjoy things. Imagine if the world and all of the people in it were the exact same. The world would completely fall apart. There might not be a world to live in. Art is too important to share. Romero Brito. This quote is saying how whether you think it is bad and someone else thinks that that art is good, it is still worth sharing. Yaakov Argon once said, there are two distinct languages. There is the verbal which separates people and there is the visual that is understood by everybody. Art can be interpreted, understood and enjoyed through all people and languages cannot. We can't all speak the same language. It is a way for us to express what we see and how we view things through many different and special ways that show our uniqueness, who we are. Whether rich or poor, famous or unknown, 
Regardless of where one comes from, art has a way of lifting our spirits and making us feel good. All of the direct power and emotion hits and makes recipients feel. Art is very different and has a lot of variety and diversity. It can deal with sorrow, joy, sometimes at the same time or at different times. It can be the answer to all of your problems or just create another problem for you. Art makes you feel as though you are free, even just for a split second. Admiring one's work can spark something in us to create new things and to make the world a better place. I think art adds so much to our lives. Dance, music, architecture, and drawing show the world's creativity. We need art because it makes us see life differently. It gives us hope and something to live for. It inspires us. Without it, life would be very dull and uneventful. One painting from Johannes Vermeer called Girl with a Pearl Earring was painted in 1665. Another by Vincent van Gogh called The Starry Night was painted in 1889. And then one of the most famous paintings all around the world is the Mona Lisa painted by Leonardo da Vinci in the early 1500s. Another is a Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jatte painted by Georges Seurat in 1884. And another by Pablo Picasso called Guernica painted in 1937.